Hello everyone, my name is Christoph. I will guide you here in this little video clip through the installation of the Simprint engine. I will do that uh, with a very basic environment um, with the desktop the user logs onto and just uses it to connect to a terminal server session. And within that terminal server session that user wants to print back to any local printer that is connected to the desktop. So what you see here is my desktop uh, Windows 10 tech preview. And the first thing I need to do is connect to my terminal server. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I will connect as an administrator because obviously I need to install software, so I need administrative privileges to do that. There we go. Now the first step would be how do I get the software? When you go to our website, www.simprint.com, and you go to the Download Now area here, um, you will be presented with a tiny little form. You just enter your email address here, click Continue. There are a few more questions and then you will receive an email. In that email, you find a link, and that link will point you to this website, our software download from where you can download the Simprint engine. All you have to uh, be careful about here is if you have a 32-bit operating system or 64-bit operating system. In my case, it's 64-bit, so let's download the software. Okay, the installation is done. So let me open the download folder. I can close the web browser. I don't need that anymore. And the first thing we should do here is extract the whole zip file um, to make sure that the installer actually has all the pieces it needs to get to. Let's just extract the whole file here. The installation folder contains a lot of subfolders, but we only need one file from this uh, whole package, which is under the First section, click on software, and then select Setup Simprint 10.6 Complete x64. This is basically the master install that guides you through all of the different steps that need to be done to install the Simprint engine. First, I would always recommend read the quick start guide. I mean, it's basically what I'm doing here right now, but in writing, so it's easy to jump back and forth and, and, and search for keywords or things like that. Um, in our case, we don't need that, so let me close that again. Um, second one, install the Cortado license server. Um, you can have as many Simprint engines as you need, but you need at least one license server that then holds all the, holds all the license keys and assigns them to users, and that's what we're going to install first. Now, this license server can be installed on the same machine as the Simprint engine, so the terminal server in my example here, um, but it can also be installed on a dedicated machine, on a separate machine, um, so it doesn't have to be on the same machine that also runs the Simprint engine. After the readiness check is done, we can actually uh, yeah, proceed to the installation of the license server. Um, there's not really much to do for us here. It's basically just next, next, um, agree the license agreement, Next, next, and install. Okay, the last thing we have to do here is decide if we want to enter our license keys that we purchased or just go into demo mode for this demo here. I keep it in demo mode. And we're done. The license server is now installed and it automatically opens the license console. Now, we don't really have to do anything here um, at the moment, but it is a nice little way to, to check that the installation was successful just by waiting for this website to show up and then uh, logging in um, to make sure that the logon actually works. To log on, use the same credentials you used um, for the installation. So in my case, it was the admin here, and it's just the domain credentials. Okay, there we are, no errors, everything is perfectly fine. Um, you see on the top left, we have 10 keys, uh, 10 demo keys that come with the installation. Um, if I purchase keys, then it would actually show the actual number of users that I can assign. Okay, that's all from the license console. So let me jump back to my installer here, and let me delete these two windows in the background. The next step is to actually install the Simprint engine. And that's also a very simple click, click, click process. So select the Simprint engine, um, and then follow the steps of the install wizard. Now, since we're installing it on a terminal server or RDS host, I will select the terminal, uh, terminal server role, the one up here. Um, if it were a print server, then I would select the print server role, for example, but terminal server is the one we need here for this demo. 
The only information I have to enter is the license server address. Since we installed the license server on the same machine that we're installing the Simpron engine on, we just can keep the uh, information that is already entered here. Okay, next, next, and next. And all we have to do now is wait for the installation to get done. Okay, and the Simpron engine is installed as well. Now, it requires a restart here after the installation, so keep that in mind if you intend on installing this on a production machine. Um, as you can see down here, we have the installation uh, module for the Simpro Mobile Print component. Um, I will not uh, demo this one here. Uh, we can do that in a separate video. And we have a link to download the Simpro client. The Simpro client has to go on the workstation that I use to log on to this uh, RDS host here. So I will download it um, from, a, from a different machine. Um, I will do that while the server is restarting. That's why I'm clicking on this right now. And I will just take the link here, save me a little bit of clicking, and go to my workstation and just open the link then from here. Uh, let me open my browser. Okay, let me go back in here and just initiate the restart. There we go. Now the server is completely done configure, uh, configuring, uh, yeah, completely done installing, and is also pre-configured. So all we have to do now is download the Simprint client. So click on the link down here, um, confirm that you understood the conditions, and then just select the Simprint client for Windows in this case, since I have a Windows 10 desktop, and I have a 64-bit Windows 10 desktop, so I just download the client software here. Okay, download is done, and it's basically the same procedure as before. Extract the whole folder so that the installer can get to all the components it needs to get to, and then just double-click on software and set up Simprint client x64. Okay, there's our installer. Just click on Next, accept the agreement, and then decide what protocol you want to have supported by this client. Now we're using Microsoft Terminal Services, so RDP is perfectly fine. For ZenApp or Zen Desktop, you could use the ICA protocol, or you can also use TCP IP if you don't want to send the print data through the virtual channel. So we're using RDP, that's the one we need. Just do the install, and then again, we just wait. Okay, and we're done. Now, the next time I connect to my terminal server session, all my local printers will be created automatically on that terminal server session, and I can just hit print, and the printer will be highly compressed, sent down with the universal driver to my workstation, and then prints locally here.